What's going on, Clash Bashers? Rocky here today, and today we are back on our Town Hall 12, and guys, we're going to do a mini-series. That's right, guys. The season ends in one week, so what I'm going to do is, generally the last week is the toughest week to push, but... I'm not going to let that stop me. What we're going to do is I'm going to see how far I can get in one week by pushing my Town Hall 12. If you see there, we're at 5,001 trophies. The league resets in exactly seven days. So let's see how far we can get on the Town Hall 12. I am still pushing the Town Hall 10. By the by the way, I am not giving up on that. But I wanted to see how far we could do this, how far we could get the Town Hall 12. And maybe if we can get close to 6K. This series is being sponsored by the Ridge Wallet. The Ridge is an RFID blocking front pocket wallet that is made by two plates either titanium carbon fiber or aluminum with an elastic strap that is just going to make you rethink your everyday carry i have the carbon fiber wallet right here it comes with a nice little instruction card of how you know to get the cards in you put multiple cards right in there and it works really really well it has a durable elastic band on there you have the two plates look how nice that carbon fiber looks guys Oh, that is so beautiful. Also has a nice little cash strap, or you can get a money clip on the back there. And the really nice thing about the Ridge, it's the last wallet you'll ever have to buy because it's guaranteed for life. You can get 10% off your own Ridge wallet with free worldwide shipping by going to ridgewallet.com slash clash bashing and using code clash bashing. That's ridgewallet.com slash clash bashing. And the link would be down in the description. You guys already know. Go click on that link. Go check out Ridge Wallet. Some awesome products guaranteed for life. You guys aren't going to want to miss out on this one. So a special shout out to Bridge Wallet for sponsoring this video. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to go out. This is the army I'm using. I'm going to try to get some raids going today to get this starting. We're about to end shield. It kind of lined up perfectly. I have all my shields available. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, once I get a, like a day or two in because we have seven days, probably like a day and a half in uh, when I'm getting ready to take that defense, pop the two, the one day shield. And then a little bit later in the week, pop the two day shield uh, just to prevent from taking some defenses. So that's going to be the battle plan. I'm going to go out. Hopefully hit some nice bases and see if we can get, I don't know, 55,000, 5,500, 6,000. I don't know. We'll see where we go in a week. A week is a short amount of time. But honestly, I think 5,500 would be doable. 6,000 maybe. I don't, I don't know. I'm already pushing the Town Hall 10, so why not? Let's go find some bases, guys. So the nice thing about being a Town Hall 12 and pushing is I can hit whatever bases I want. Air defenses are down on this one, so this is lovely. What I've been doing is I'll kind of use these giants in here to tank. We'll send the wrecker in. Uh, we'll use that baby dragon to get destroyed. <laughs> Poor baby dragon, rest in peace. But we'll just basically use the heroes to kind of dive in here and see how we can get through. Try to take out an air defense. Try to take out the queen if we can. I really wanted that king to come back in, but that's all right. He can go out there and distract stuff. Uh, we got Valkyries in our clan castle. And really, I don't really need through that wall, but I'm going to let them get through that wall. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and rage them up just to get through this stuff. And hopefully they'll come take out this enemy queen. They ignore the enemy queen. Lovely. All right, that's fine, guys. We could deal with that. Uh, I guess I should have probably popped the record before they had more options. But that's okay. We can, we can deal with that queen without issue. Uh, I'm just kind of like funneling out a little side right here. And I think we're going to go in back here uh, no i, I kind of like going in this way kind of like going in on the more narrow side and then kind of all converging doesn't really matter too much what we're going to do there let's uh rage up double rage just to get these guys moving through here get the balloons moving clone right there nice little clone perfect awesome and let's uh rage freeze we'll freeze the Oh, I need the warden up. Oh, those balloons are going to go down. The warden's not close enough. Oh, I tried to save him. The warden wasn't close enough anyways. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're doing with it. I mean, it should be able to two-star pretty much all of the bases we're finding. I thought about throwing a poison spell in here, and I might still do that here a little bit later. But it's been doing pretty well, guys. We've been doing a good job as far as getting some bases and getting some hits going. Oh, this one kind of went sloppy there at the end. But... I'm working with the army. I'm trying to get it a little bit better. I don't know. I might take those two giants out. I've been messing. I've been taking the giants in and out, uh, experimenting with uh, like another baby dragon just to help funnel. Seems decent. I just don't know if it's like what's more worth the spots. I don't know. Th that last spot could be kind of interchangeable. So we're going to get in here. We're probably going to get right about, yeah, with time and everything, we're going to get that two star. So it works out. We'll get a plus nine, plus ten here. But we're, we're going to be on session anyway, so time to just hit everything. The only thing that sucks, this army does take quite a while to train, but it's pretty effective against most bases. So 
really wanted a three star. That, that's a that's a little bit embarrassing. Let's get another one going. The nice thing, also, I just realized. I, I didn't even think about this. I just realized. We can max out our king. Where's he at? King, king, king. We, we need like one more raid to max out our king. Awesome. Be back soon, guys. All right, guys. This is what we need right here. A huge, huge offer. I'm looking around. I feel like I want to go in and try to take out that single inferno. But man, if I can get in there and take that eagle out, that would be nice. Also. Uh, sweepers are a pain. I feel like I want to kind of take the eagle out. Let's go for the eagle here. Uh, go ahead and put our two giants right there. Put a baby dragon right here. Oh no, I didn't switch. Uh oh. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll put our Valks on the queen. Oh man, I cannot wait for the update so that it automatically switches my troops. Oh, oh that's such a pain. Uh, we'll throw the heroes in here. Uh, there, okay, we can reach that. We can reach that air defense there. Oh, man, that's annoying. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the king to kind of funnel there. I'm going to use the queen to get this air defense out. And then we're going to go in. I think we're going to go in towards the eagle. Try to get that eagle out nice and fast. I don't know. Oh, that that e drag is going to get held up on the king. That's pretty annoying. All right, let's get all of this stuff in. Get these guys in. Rage up here. I missed a balloon. All right, there. That's all beautiful. Let's uh, clone right there. Oh, we cloned an E-Drag also. Oh, we're messing up, guys. We are messing up so bad. All right, let's uh, hit that Warden's ability. We will uh, rage through there. Uh, we got freezes. Let's freeze up. Oh, I missed the Eagle. I tried to get the Town Hall and the Eagle. Let's go ahead and freeze right there. Freeze that air defense. Oh, my goodness, guys. This is the sloppiest raid ever. I'll tell you what, man. I attack so much worse when I'm recording. I really do. Like, I'm not trying to make up excuses, but normally <laughs> this, this base would be no problem for me. I, I'm making mental errors of not putting in the stuff that I need to put in. Oh, sloppy raids, guys. But let's see. Oh, that sweeper's going to be such a problem. Man, that sweeper's going to be such a problem. Those guys are going around. All right. Oh, sweeper. Oh, nice little chain lightning there. But the air defense is up. We got two archer towers up. He's going to get Shrek. Get a shot. Okay, he got a shot off. Nice. Well, what we can ask for, ask him to get a shot off and he gets one off. Uh, the warden getting absolutely taken out. All right, there it goes. I was like, why is that sweeper not shooting? Sweeper goes down. That's huge. Uh, however, the air defense is there. Oh, we can, we can almost get it, guys. Go, go, go. Shoot it. Nice. Three star plus 30. Super sloppy raid, but it is a plus 30 nonetheless. Let's keep it moving. Hold on. We can get... No, actually, I don't think there was enough Dark Elixir. What do we need? Oh, no, we can. Let's get our king up. We got to wait on heroes. The nice thing is, is I can go out and search. I think my boost ended. I boosted before the video. Level 60 king, by the way. I'm all over the place right now. Is uh, We can go out and not necessarily need heroes. Oh, we got to wait on the army anyway, since everything was boosted. I don't mind waiting. I'm, I'm going to wait to blow through gems. Yeah. I don't know. I'll be back soon, guys. All right, guys. So basically, I'm just hitting every single base. Now, let's make sure we switch to the Wrecker. I think I want to go in over towards this queen. Because if we get in there, our queen can actually reach that other air defense. So we could potentially get two air defenses on this side. So let's go in over here. And I, I'm still, still on the fence about these two giants in there. Still really on the fence about that. I might switch that out. Let's put our king right there. Put our queen right there. Wrecker's gonna get through. This will open up the enemy queen. This will open up a couple air defenses and hopefully give us some pretty good value out of that Wrecker. Now sweepers are a little bit of a problem, a little bit of a nuisance, but it's okay. I think we should be fine. I hit the king's ability so he can ignore the queen apparently. Our queen's gonna go ignore. Okay, that that's, this is, not exactly what I wanted. Let's uh, freeze that. Let's rage it also. Try to get... If we can get the Town Hall down, I guess the, the Town Hall and the Eagle, that's even better value. <laughs> we'll take that value instead of the value we're trying to get. Oh my goodness, that, that'll that work. All right, if this Valk gets that Sweeper down... Oh my god, that's beautiful. These Valkyries... Okay, the Valk, Valks were OP right here. Uh, let's go ahead, get all this in. Let's get some balloons in. Get that in. Oh, we're looking great here, guys. We are looking fantastic on this one. Should be a nice little plus 12. So the thing that I've been loving is that you can literally uh, hit whatever you want to hit. 
when you're a Town Hall 12. Like, you don't have to wait. Uh, if there's a certain style base that maybe you only two star, it's not a big deal. Like on the Town Hall 10, there's this one certain base that's floating around that I've been having a little bit of problems with and I've been nexting it. Uh, it hasn't been popping up too much the past couple days. Uh, but it was giving me some problems, so I would just next it, especially if it's like a 6 offer, that's like a minus 35. Whereas on the Town Hall 12, I can hit that base and at minimum 1 star, but I should be able to 2 star it, especially with this army. Like, the E-Drags are just absolutely nasty. Now, whenever the update drops, uh, if it is this season, that could be pretty interesting because we'll get the Tornado Trap in the third Inferno. However, I'm hoping... Well, I don't know. I, I guess that could benefit me, too, because we could win defenses, potentially. I don't know, guys. I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. Update, good or bad. It'll make things a little bit harder, that's for sure. It's not going to make things good. But there's no set date. Just this month, I think, is the set date. So hopefully, it's... Uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm on the fence. But there we go. Plus 12. Let's hit a couple more raids in here and uh, keep it going. i got to get ready to record the video, the sneak peek uh, for before this video actually <laughs> all right guys nice little 28 offer here and honestly i don't think i really need to waste a wrecker so much on this one i'm gonna wait for that queen to lap around uh so what i've been kind of doing is uh just for the video uh skipping six and seven offers trying to find you know like a 20 or something something that's gonna be a little bit more interesting so let's go ahead and put our valks in here and put our giants in our king queen throw that baby right there and we're just gonna work right up through this side we can get an air defense or two out that would be lovely i'm gonna go in from the top side no matter what anyways uh those valkyries did exactly what they're supposed to that's awesome we got the giants tanking and i really want to try to get that air defense right there since the queen's right on it she targets a gold sword that that's exactly what my queen should do all right we're good there uh let's go ahead and start in from the top side now i did switch out and bring in a couple wizards to help out with the giant funnel that we were having a little bit of issues with. I guess I should go heavy balloons over here. Uh, but, obviously we don't need them here, so I'm going to save them for cleanup if needed. So that's going to be the battle plan there. Kind of clean those up if needed. Let's, uh... Oh no, I hit the Warden's ability instead of switching to a Rage. That's not good. That is not good at all. Alright, let's uh, freeze right there. Okay, we're still good. We still got tons of E-Drags up. Which is lovely. Let's put some cleanup. I'm just making sure everything around the base is cleared. Oh, yeah. We're good, guys. We should be fine on this one. Get through. And absolutely wreck through this bad boy. Nice. Um, we don't really need those two wizards, but we'll just sacrifice them to the cannons. Nice little three-star on the 28. We are moving, guys. We are already almost at 5,100. Let's try to get to 5,100 for the video. I mean, that would be a hot start. 5,100 in, like, four raids. That, uh, that's a great start to the mini push. Let's go, guys. All right, here we go. 28. Nice loot. The nice thing is uh, I can also get some upgrades done this week. So 50, 80. Let's see if I can find a 20 offer real quick. We're less than an hour in, and we are moving fast. Let's keep it going, guys. Guys, what a perfect way to end the video with the whale. I want to get that wrecker. Oh, my goodness. A 51 whale. That's... That's what we need to finish off the video here. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, so I'm going to let the baby dragon work for a sec. Uh, create a little bit of a funnel. We're going right up the middle here. Oh, man. What a lovely little base. Let's uh, put that in. Put that in. Put the two wizards over there. Put our king there. Put our queen there. Oh, yeah, guys. This is looking good. Let's get in here. Uh, Wrecker, I need you to get like all the way up in there. I want to try not to use a rage on the Wrecker unless I have to. Doesn't look like I'm going to have to. Awesome. Perfect. The Wrecker got through. And by the Wrecker, I meant the Falks. Uh, the Wrecker got through that wall, but if it wouldn't have, I would have used a Rage to make sure that those Valkyries got through the wall to take out that enemy queen. Uh, we're going to go in kind of an awkward angle over here, but that's all right. Let's uh, let's get at it. Uh, let's go right over here. Get our balloons kind of working up there. Get him in. Get those in. Oh, yeah. Oh, I should have put that in the corner. Didn't see the corner. That's all right. Let's put that there. Clone there. Barely got that clone off. It's a level one Tesla ticking right there. Not a big deal. Let's go ahead and just uh, hit the Warden's ability just to get through all this stuff. Freeze that again. Freeze the Inferno. Oh my goodness, a 51 whale to start us off, guys. We are going to fly up. Holy crap, I might have to like update this almost like 
daily. This is absolutely craziness. Is there literally just that one hut in the corner? Of course, the one corner has a hut that I put a troop right near it. But that's all right. We got plenty of time. We'll definitely get over there. Archer Tower is going to go down. Oh, that's a beautiful thing right there, guys. That's a beautiful, beautiful... Oh, man, that makes me so happy. After getting absolutely destroyed on the Town Hall 10, waiting for days for base... Okay, not for days, but hours for bases, uh, the redemption of being whaled is there. So hopefully... We, man, we, we, I feel like we have some good potential. I know the clouds start to thicken up around 56, 5700, but we have some good potential to make some moves in this week. I mean, 56, 5700, I don't think is out of reason because, I mean, we're probably going to get close to 52 by the end of this session. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's craziness, guys. All right, there we go. One week push. Here we go. Let me know what you guys think we're going to get to in the comment section. Let me know your guess. Uh, if someone does get it like dead on or something, maybe I'll give a, a prize or something. I don't know, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Guys, don't forget to go check out Ridge Wallets down in the description of RidgeWallet.com slash Clash Bashing. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.